Setting up your brake levers can actually make a big difference to your control on the bike and your performance. There isn't one setup that will work for everyone, but let's look at how to get your brake levers dialed in. The first thing we'll look at is actually where the brake lever is placed on the handlebar. I'll always do this first, so I get my levers in a nice position and then I'll set up everything else. So my shifters, possibly my dropper post if I've got one, after my brake levers, because the brakes are the most important control on the bike. The first thing to actually think about is where you hold onto your bars. It seems really simple, but some people grab right in the middle of the grip like that. Personally, I like to hang the edge of my hand slightly off the end of the grip. Don't ask me why, it's just something I like to do. And from there, I want my one finger to rest perfectly on the end of that brake lever. So I've got maximum leverage. If you've got a modern bike with disc brakes, you should really get in the habit of using one finger braking if you're not already. I talk about that an awful lot in the skills videos we do, but you've got way more control on the bars, a much stronger grip. You can actually modulate the brake better just using one finger. So get that finger set up right on the end of the lever. Some riders actually like to use their index finger to pull on that brake lever. Personally, I really don't like that, but there's nothing wrong with that if that's your style. You just have to make sure your lever is moved in or out of the bar so that one finger gets in that right strong position on the very end of the lever. So once we've got the lever set up, you know, in or out on the bars, next thing to look at before we tighten up that bolt is actually the angle of it. And this one is definitely down to personal preference. But actually, I like to run my levers relatively high on the bar because I like to ride downhill quite a lot, where actually I'm hanging off the back of the bike a lot. I can reach it nicely. If, I'm, if I've got my levers too steep and I'm riding a steep bit of downhill, if I'm then reaching over to get to that lever, it's actually rolling my wrist above the bar a little bit. So I don't like that personally. I like to have them relatively high. It does suit downhills more, I'd say. For cross country where you're spending more time in the saddle pedaling, then get in your position and from there find somewhere comfortable. I've got my lever in the right position now and I'm just going to tighten it onto the bar. Uh, some people like to use torque wrenches for this so you don't go too tight. Um, that is important with carbon bars, you don't want to start crushing them. Uh, with alloy bars people maybe like to leave them a little bit looser so that in a crash the lever will spin. I don't like doing that on a carbon bar because it can score the carbon so I'd rather have it tight-ish. I don't actually need a torque wrench because I calibrated my hands yesterday so it's fine. So lever's set, and like I said before, I'm now gonna set everything else in my shifter and my dropper post around that brake lever. Occasionally, you might have to put your shifter on the other side of that brake lever. That might be if your lever's got a really long blade on it. So in this case, I don't. It goes grip, brake, shifter, dropper, and I'll just get them in the right place as well. On some brake levers, you can actually adjust the free stroke. You can do on these Shimano Dual XT trail levers. The free stroke is the amount that that brake lever travels before the pistons hit the disc and the brake is engaged. So that's down to personal preference as well. Some people like more free stroke, so maybe there's more modulation down there. Personally, I like to wind that Phillips screw all the way in so I've got less free stroke and the brakes are quicker to hit the disc. And then I sort of train my brain to use them like that. So possibly less modulation, but I like the instant hit of the brake lever. Last but not least, I'm gonna adjust the reach on this brake lever. So that adjusts exactly where that lever sits in or out from the handlebar, depending on the size of your hands. If you've got smaller hands, might want to run their lever nice and close to the handlebar, so you're not really reaching out for it. I'm the same actually, I like to run them really close to the bars. On this lever, you've got a really nice little thumb wheel there, dead easy to do. You find an awful lot of brakes actually have a, like a two and a half mil or a three mil Allen key in there and that will wind the lever in or out. Uh, it's actually something that loads of people pick up on our videos and say that I need my brakes bleeding, which actually I probably don't. You see I like my reach, so it's really close to the bar. And this is another reason it's really important to have your one finger right at the very end of the lever, because if it was down there and you had them close, it'd crush your other fingers before your brakes actually engage. So great, I've got my front brake lever set up exactly as I like it. I know you Americans out there were saying, oh, that's your back brake. We run our front brake on the right over here. And now it's time to match up my other lever to this one. A couple of little tricks to that that I like to use is an Allen key. And I'll measure the reach. You can see there, it's just next to that marking. And I'll sand that over there and try and match it up doing that. You can use things like calipers, but just getting it near enough is a good way of getting them set just the same. And then the angle, the way I like to do that is to come to the back of the bike, 
So you can just about see the top of the lever over the top of the bars. And again, I'll try and match that lever angle so I can see as much of the lever there as I can there. So there you go, there's how to set up your brake levers. As I mentioned before, there's an awful lot of personal preference comes into this. There's no real right or wrong way of doing it. But it's actually the very first thing that I'll do when I get onto a bike is set the brake levers to how I like them. And reach for me is really important and getting that one finger right on the very end. If you want to see more videos from GMBN, you can click up there for how to check your disc brakes or click down there for the full maintenance playlist where you can go and check out loads of other cool videos on how to look after your bike. Or click on me and my snazzy brake levers to subscribe to GMBM.